Okay, so we've got just a couple more things to do before we're ready to get into Quixel completely. Um, let's see. Apparently last time I was in Photoshop, I was, was doing something with some... I wonder what this was. Oh, this was a character I was working on. Never mind. Let me get rid of this. Just, just stop. No. No. And no. There we go. Okay. So, one thing. So, I've gone into Google, because Google's a great place to go, and just started doing some Googling, because, you know, that's what you should do with Google, and found some various things that I might like to put on my compressor. And another thing, as I was doing this, you know, I, I looked at some pictures of things, you know, you know here's some fittings, you know, here's like a compressor, looks like there's like weld lines or something, I don't know, um, not a machinist, but you know, I took a look at things, got an idea of how some things look, and found some pictures, and so I want to get my pictures ready, and I also want to get my directory ready before everything just like explodes on me. So I'm going to start off by creating a new folder, new folder, and I'm going to call this uh, compressor, and then I'm going to open that folder. And in here, I'm going to create another new folder. Um, I'm going to do originals, which really all it's going to have is my original Maya file. That'll do. And then I'm going to create another folder. And I'm going to put uh, decals in here. And I've only got a couple that I'm interested in using. And I'll put those right up there. And then here I have my UV layout, my color ID, and my OBJ file. And I guess I'll just leave those right there for now. And so what I want to do is go into my decals, and I just want to get these addressed and also take care of my color map. So uh, either whichever order I want to do these, I'm just going to go ahead and drag all of those into here, like so. And really what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to get rid of uh, background stuff. So I only have you know, like this label right here. So let's see, let's zoom in on this. Photoshop's still thinking about something. Sure, let's do that. All right, so let's grab this guy really quick. So I'll go with a polygon selection. Do I want to be inside? And do I actually want, I'm trying to decide if I want that black line or not. Do I care? I don't think I want that, so I'm gonna kind of go inside the black line. Let's come down to here. Just do some quick polygon selection here. There we go. Up to there. And one more, and then over to here, and then get around this corner. So now I'll do a quick control shift I to invert my selection. I'll delete everything else, so I've only got that thing. Uh, let's do a control D to deselect everything. Let's zoom out. Come over here, let's do some cropping with that tool right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and crop this over to I'll leave some transparency on the sides, I guess. Doesn't really bother me. Actually, I probably won't, now that I really think about it. Well, I mean, the, the little corners will have some, but that's fine. Right there, and then I could have done a trim in hindsight, but eh, done. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to save this out, so I'm going to do a file, save as... And for right now, let's see, I'm in decals. You know what, let's pull this over here, okay? I'm in decals, I'm gonna do a control shift N. I'm gonna go with originals, just in case I ever want these originals for some reason. I'm gonna put them all in there, there we go. Uh, so I'm gonna call this label, I'm gonna do it as a PNG, and I'm gonna save that. And I'm doing the PNG because that will actually 
have some transparency there, or at least it should. Uh, to get an idea, I'll go ahead and load it back up in another page here, another spot, another tab, and there you can see the transparency back there. Okay. All right, next one that I've got. Uh, no, don't save that. Um, mm -hmm. Let's do a. Let's do a. You know what? I think we're going to be able to do a magic wand on this. Let's grab all the white, delete it. Oops, sorry. Let's open our layer first. And now we'll delete it. Okay. And then we'll do, instead of doing the crop that I did last time, let's do another Control D. Let's do an image and a trim. And it will trim based on transparent pixels. Go. There we are. Let's save this guy file. Save as. This is going to be another PNG. Like so. Save. Save. All right. Next up. No. This dial here. Let's do. Let's change this to a circle. I'm going to just draw a circle out here. I'm going to come up here to select transform selection, and that's going to allow me to adjust my selection to get my circle in here the way that I want. There we go. Let's adjust it down a little smidge, in a little bit. That one's not too bad, that one's not too bad. Let's go in just a little bit here. Let's go down just a little bit. And maybe in just one. Wink. There we go, I like that. We'll hit the checkbox. Control Shift I to invert my selection. We'll delete. Oops, got to open my layer. OK, and delete. There we go. Let's zoom back out a little bit and do a Control D to deselect. And let's do another trim. Uh, so that'll be an image trim, like so. There we go. Let's save this guy file. Save as. Save as. Save as is right there. I'll do this as another PNG. Dial 2. Looks good. Save it. Save that. All right, that one saved, and now I've just got one more dial. This one. Uh, do the same basic thing again. So let's do a circle. And then I'll go back to my select transform selection. I'm going to pull this one up right about there. Pull this one over about there. Down to what do you think there? Let's go over here to there. All right, that looks good. A little bit too tall here. No, I like that actually. Looks good. Enter. Control Shift I to invert my selection. Open the layer. Delete what we've got. Zoom back out. Not that far, but that's cool. Control D to get rid of my selection. Let's do another image. Trim. Transparent. Looks good. File. Save as. And yeah, it's a dial and as a PNG. Let me find that. Right here it is. I'm going to save that. Okay, so I've got a couple decals ready to be put into Quixel. Um, and, I, and I could go collect more if I want. I probably should in hindsight. Um, oops, no. Cancel, go away. In fact, I do want one more. Um, there we go. I couldn't figure out what I was trying to do for some reason. And the one more I want is this label right here. Sure, I want that label. So I'm going to right click on that and do a save image as. I'm going to put it in my compressor, decals, originals, and I'm going to call this instructions, even though it's not, but that's what I'm going to call it. Okay, let's get out of there. Let me bring that in here. Boink. What do we have? Oh, well, that one's kind of like ready to, that one's ready to go already. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do a uh, image trim on it anyway. There we go. Yeah. And now we'll do a uh, file and a file save as. We'll put that back in our decals right here. PNG. Okay, looks good. All right. One last thing. We are now going to go ahead and 
pull in our color ID map. Open our layer. And you can see this is pretty clean. I'm not having too much overlapping. There's just a couple of areas that I need to fix, but generally this is pretty clean. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and add a new layer. And I want to bring my UV layout into that layer so I can see how things are laying there. Looks nice. All right, yeah, let's do a checkbox on that. Go down to layer zero. And I'm actually going to go ahead and do this on a new layer just in case I ever want to be able to go back to this for some odd reason. Let's see, what do we have? Let's zoom in. And I'm just going to go through here and make some corrections, just some minor ones, no big deal. Zoom in a little bit more. And I'm going to start off by getting this color right here. So I'll go with a color. Let's select that color. Looks good. And I'm just going to get quick and dirty with this. So I'll just do a rectangle selection. Shift F5. Oops, not white. Shift F5. Foreground color. Looks nice. What do we have here? Aha, let's do, let's grab this color. Boink. And we'll do a nice little box right here. Shift F5, foreground color, good. Let's do another little box right about here. Shift F5, foreground color looks good. All right, let's select our blue. Nice. Do one of these numbers on it. Even though all of those are outside of the range, I, this is just what I like to do. Um, you're free to skip. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, you, I'm sure you can skip this step. But I like it, so I do it. Uh, let's see. Let me grab that one. Okay. And looks like we have some. The other thing is this, this just guarantees that I've got the colors that I want where I want them. Okay, let's zoom back out. Control minus, and what? Let's correct this right here. This is where the bottom of that thing was basically sitting right there, so that's why we got some overlap. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that color. Nice. Do a nice little box selection right in here. Something like that. Do a Shift F5. Looks good. All right, coming back up here, let's zoom back in with some control pluses. Let's come over this way. Everything's looking pretty good here. Minor things I'd like to correct. So, get that squared away. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to do this in like a box right here. There we go. Let me hit. Yeah, right about here. Hit that little box. Looks good. Everything else looking pretty good there. Let's grab that color quickly. And let's zoom in a little bit more. Boy, those were packed awful tight. That's cool. Control D. And go from there to right about there, F5. Uh, yeah, not going to be much I can do there. I'm just going to leave that like it is. But I see I got a smidge issue there, so let's square that away. Let's do, boom. Okay, let's zoom out. Scroll up. And let's just go ahead and grab this whole t uh, region. These are the tires, aren't they? I think this is part of the tires. Shift F5. There we go. Uh, let's fix that one. Alrighty, I'm going to do it like, like so. Alright, looks good. Keep going. Here's, here's a couple of things. Let's get a new color. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to use... No. Yeah, let's just do one of these. Shift F5. And I'll do another one from like right about here. 
and looks like I've got just another little bit right about here. There we go. Ooh, I did not notice that overlap right there. Darn. Well, <laughs> that sucks. Dang it. I didn't notice that overlap. <sighs> oh, I'm not happy about that. How did that get past me? Oh, well. Uh, so, you know, kind of what should I do about that? I need to go back into Maya. I need to shift this just a little bit. Then I need to rebake everything. That's what I should do about it. Um, so, darn it. How did that get past me? Yeah, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do about it. So I'm actually going to get this fixed. And then as soon as I have all that taken care of, we will come right back and we'll pick it up right here where we were. Okay, hello everybody. So we are back. Uh, it didn't take too long, just a, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so. Uh, and we are actually almost back to where I was. So let's see, we'll just go ahead and get this guy finished up here. Yeah. And, oh yeah, we had some of these purple issues here. All right. Let's see what we can do with the purple. Okay, and you can see, fix the problem right there that had the overlap. And okay, so at this point, I'm just gonna keep following this process until I have all of my colors done and then save this out as a new target. That will be, you know, called what, uh, color map fixed, probably. You know, that seems like a reasonable name to me. So I'm actually almost done here. Those purple borders should not be a problem. They shouldn't be a problem at all, really. Uh, let me see if I can short circuit anything here. What will this do? right there right uh, polygon selection this time This one can be done with a quick box. I'm curious why that one's purple and the others aren't, though. Do I have other gray ones somewhere? You know what? That's one that got missed. That's what happened. That one got missed in the material selection. So that one should actually be gray. I mean, not gray. It should actually be that purple color. So this is a situation where it's a good thing we're going through and 
double check on what we've got here because that's the color that one should have been. We should be done. This should be it. Should be all done. And yeah, we are. Control D, deselect. We're going to do, I'm going to save it as a PSD just in case I ever need to come back. Notice I have the layers and stuff like that. So this will be my color ID fixed. And then I'll do a file save as Targa color ID. I want it all caps. Fixed. Okay. We are now ready to go into Quixel next. Okay. So, yep. We'll see you in the next one.